A few weeks ago, Neil Widener asked me if I could possibly make this shotgun more expensive. <laughs> And I have. Today, we are going to talk on our Sunday gear review here on Active Self Protection Extra about these little G10 rail scales. They're awesome. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. We have the bougiest shotguns known to man uh, we as far do. in the defensive world. Yep, yep. I don't think there's any bougier shotgun than a Levang Comp LTT Elite 1301. Okay, so we're not talking about no budget shotguns right now. We're talking yeah. bougie shotguns. It's, it's a mouthful too. And then I replaced the forend with this Briley handguard, and I did that on purpose because the Magpul one that is is typical is kind of short, and the barrel sits over the top of it, and I wanted a little more protection, particularly and especially for doing short stocking stuff. Uh, so I grabbed this, it's great. I actually think that even just the, the anodized aluminum is got a little better grip than the Magpul. Um, the one beef that I have with, with all the other LTT elites, and I, you know, they got that Magpul foreign on them, yep. and it's a little slippery. It's a little slippery. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm working on something on mine to address that. Yeah, so, well, we're, so we're thinking about going a little bit more, so more bougie yeah. your way. Yeah. Well, I put this Briley handguard on. I love this Briley handguard. We did the, re the review on it earlier. Let me mount my light the way that I wanted and where I wanted. My other problem with that Magpul handguard was, was that the light broke it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> broke it dis bigger than disco. Now it's a big light, you don't need that much light, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but uh, the other thing I decided is that I really want a little more grip. So I went on and started looking for some, some M-Lock grip panels and these uh, rail scale uh, G10 grip panels fit the bill perfectly. Now I have no relationship with them. Okay, I don't. They they don't know who. I don't know if they know who I am. Yeah. I don't know who they are. They make cool products. These are super easy to install. Um, these particular ones that I have here are in micro dot, but they also make them in dragon scale. If you want to look oh. cool. They make them in a little hatch pattern. I forget what they call that. Um, but I just chose these little circle ones because that's just what I had. And they're nice and flat, so they don't, they, there's no edges to them or anything like that. But man, I gotta tell you, uh, and of course you can install them where you want. This probably handguard, this particular place here, they kind of have that already just a little bit. You can kind of see they've got a little bit of texturing there, and I think that's their default where they expect you to put your hands, which is cool. And for Neil, you've got longer arms than yep. I do, it's probably the right spot. For me, it's that's just a little too far in front. So I wanted to be just a little further back for a little more bend in my elbow. So I put these rail scales right on that. And man, so you see my hand covers those up just right and gives me a little bit more texture, which gives me a little more push for my push pull. There you go. And, and I mean, we ain't found too much push pull yet. Not yet. And I, maybe eventually we will. Um, but man, I, I think it adds just grip texture. It, it, it's so much more grippy. Than, than just the smoothness of it. And, and, and this has a pretty good grip. The, the Briley one has a pretty good grip anyway. I do like that texture, but this just adds another layer. So as you're doing the, the push, yeah. um, I can see that. Now, like you say, my, I, I, wanted, I would rather it was clear out here for me, but for you and your dainty little arm. My, this is my, my little T-Rex <laughs> I think it's proof of, but man, I, I, it's, it, it, it feels good. It's not so sharp that I think it's not gonna chew you up. Uh, it feels like it's gonna last a while. Yeah. I, I, I don't see this wearing out very, very quickly at all. So now, I like it. Uh, I think what you can see here is I got um, four of them that are the three slot length. And then I got this fifth one that is a two slot length. And I'm sure somebody's gonna ask why I did that. And I assure you beyond a shadow of a doubt that it was on purpose and not just because I ordered a wrong one and didn't wanna go back and reorder it. I promise you. <laughs> Couldn't it, have been that. It could not have been that I just goofed that. Um, I, I, I thought for a while about how am I gonna say something like, oh look, so then that's my index point for my uh, finger right, or yeah. something. The, the honest truth is I just goofed it. Uh, and, and it works just fine anyways. The longer ones are three, um, uh, pin ones or three slots are like 29 bucks on their website and the two slots 27 bucks and um, You know come with the mounting hardware come with everything you need to install it takes I mean it, it, no, Untrained monkey can install these in five minutes slide them in there tighten them down easy day um, I, Man they add some grip. So let's go shoot them a little bit. Shall we? Let's try it. How much do I love my heterosexual life mate Neil? <laughs> I have not shot these grips yet and he's gonna get to shoot him first. Yes. Okay, you and your lefty stuff. Okay, are you ready? 
it gonna feel? What, is, what does that feel like? They feel good, man. I, I mean, I'm just not slipping around. Um, at first glance, you think, oh, these are gonna be sharp, and even at first feel, they're, they're, but they're not. They're very, they're just grippy. It's hard to, uh, other than that, I got nothing. I don't know that my... So you can see on my fingers, it's biting in there, but, but that's just, that's the pattern. That's not, there's no bite to it. Uh, yeah, these are the right thing. Those are nice. Okay, my turn. And, and like Neil said, man, I really think it's, this is good. This, this um, anodized aluminum feels okay, but oh man, it's just the right amount of grippy, these rail scales. So let's just kind of give it a feel. See what... <laughs> That's delightful. It's a nice gun. It helps the gun stay flat. Um, my, my hand didn't move on these at all. You see when you, when you really kind of get them, they're, they're going to put a little bit of mark on your hand, but they don't hurt. Um, yep. Uh, I, I, 10 out of 10. Yeah, I, I, I can't find the right word to describe it. I just, I love that feel. It's a good grip on a shotgun. And I love shooting a shotgun and it feels right. Um, so you're talking about if you, if you did like I did, if you, you know, strategically bought one two line and, and four three lines, <laughs> you'd be right about 130 bucks on this. Um, and, and again, you're making a bougie shotgun bougier, but, but I, I'm not going back. They're staying on. Yeah, I like them. And, nice. and uh, where did I get these? You know, there's there are different companies. This one, I, I got them on the Rail Scales uh, website. I don't have any relationship with them. I paid cash for it, real American dollars, uh, and they're really worth it. I'm, they're they're going to stay. 